variety and a mixture of grasses and delta grass pretty well says what we wanted to say. The adult fish, shrimp, crab, squid, and octopus, they all lay their eggs in and around the roots of that grass. Then they leave about the water. He comes out into the river. And as he grows more, he moves to the bay, the bay is the gulf. The water system that keeps the two apart so that they don't just collide and stray just seeking its nutrients is actually taking pollution out of the water for us. Sewage, the lead, mercury, DD. That's when areas of the bay and with our seafood industry in this area, that got our attention. We sat down and began to study this little problem we were having. Our first impulse was to run out of the last one and we were going to Then we started As we protected the fox, the coyote, bobcat, the alligator, and the other predators on this list, their numbers began to slowly increase and as we between these rodents and these predators, and we were seeing a substantial difference in our water quality. Mother Nature was showing us as well. The brown pelican, the seafood it consumed that year. This year, the brown pelican, bottom jaw has a pouch under it. It expands and he can take in about a gallon and a half of water into this pouch. So when he slams head first into the water and you see that big splash, he closes
closes his beak real quick. And he's actually scooped up all the water right around where the fish was. Here by Frederick's Winds. That house sits more than 10 miles inland from the Gulf of Mexico, and it took Frederick's tidal surge only 48 minutes to reach it. Everybody go wild. The idea was pretty simple. Let's build this breastworks across the entrance of a wheel dive for Dolphin Island and Fort Gaines. Over to Fort Morgan, sitting on Gulf Shores. Leave a narrow channel through the breastworks for all the ships to come and go from the bay to the way go into the mall on Saturday afternoon. Off our right side, across the water in the grass, way up in there, you'll see our boardwalk railing. This boardwalk extends 1,600 feet out over this bayou. Take the opportunity to explore the little bayou. You might see anything in there from a nutria to a blue heron to an alligator to a raccoon, but whatever you see, leave it alone and stay away from it. These are wild animals. This isn't the zoo. There's no fence between you and them. Now we're looking straight up at Bessie Mae Bellingrouse Dream House. You can imagine it's 1934. Bessie Mae is moving out from downtown Mobile. She's going to build her dream house when she finishes the rooms around her. She goes out and buys a little used furniture. My mother doesn't think that's funny out there. Bessie Mae went out and bought antiques, but not just any old antiques. They were 17th century. She knew exactly what she wanted. took away the deep water seaport of Mobile and laid siege to Mobile and cut us off from the Gulf, village on the Gulf of Mexico coastline. The way
Yeah.